Hey everybody, I'm Alucia. Today we're playing Marathon 2 and it's going to be awesome. We have reached level 11, the hard stuff rules. And we are in a room full of Flicta. Uh, if things look slightly different, it's because I loaded up the previous save and went back through and cleared the last room, recharged my health, and saved before coming back here. Uh, it's something you may actually want to do yourself because otherwise this could be a bit of a pain. Thankfully, I still have shotgun rounds. <laughs> Don't go shotguns. The shotguns are very good at their job. Also, these things float around. I believe that these are actually supposed to be genetic relatives of the Sft. But they're marked as enemies on my uh, radar, so I'm going to shoot them. There is a whole bunch of stuff to do in this level, actually. But I'm not sure... Uh, well, I'm going to show it all off, obviously. but I'm, Or at least try to. But there is a bunch of stuff that I may or may not find. I'm not sure. I don't remember how uh, complicated it is to find everything. There's a terminal here, which I'm going to read in a moment. Once I'm done clearing this room. There we go, that's one room clear. Grab some ammo. Oh, I have tons of pistol ammo. I guess I'll use that for a while. So what do you guys to say? During the final hours of the Sft 4 war, the last free Sft made a stand in the Citadel of Antiquity. We are searching the Citadel to learn as much as possible about these Sft and what they did during their final moments. The four appear to have re to have been reluctant to attack the Citadel directly. Re radiation lingering in the area even after a thousand years suggests that they irradiated the Citadel and let the Sft die slowly. That is not their style. Each of the ten clans was represented here, and I hope they that they discovered something before they were over before being overrun by the four. Find as many computers as you can so that I may search them for useful information. So our goal is simply to explore the level and read all of the terminals in the level. Which is good because there's like six or seven of them and I don't want to miss any of them. So hopefully we won't miss any of them. There's also a lot of flick things. Once you find a place to restore your arm health and save game, you will probably want to be revisiting it and using it often like I did in the previous game during the later levels of that one, because, again, the game gets kind of tough and jerkish in places. It is an old-school first-person shooter. Oh, hey. There's a bunch of ammo over here and a health restore. That's very convenient. And now I have even more pistol ammo, so I will keep using them because, well, the pistols are actually pretty good in this game. They're not the best weapon in the game, but they're pretty decent. They're certainly not the worst weapon in the game. Whee! Oh, and it looks like there's a safe... Whoa! And I've run into Flicta, which are shooting fireballs at me. That is not a good thing. To uh, continue on my talking about Pathways into Darkness, the Pathways into Darkness have a lot of really rather creative-looking and sometimes very strange-looking enemies. And the Flicta really remind me a lot of the kind of enemies that you ran into Pathways into in Pathways. The kind of strange, not-quite-right sort of bizarre enemies with giant mouths and stuff. But the enemies in that one were specifically supposed to be the, uh, the weird dreams of the deific, quasi-deific uh, alien entity in the ruins, so... These are not! These are just supposed to be the ancestors of the Sft, I believe. Uh, where the heck am I going? That's a good question. I don't know the answer to it right now. I guess I'm going this way. Up here, and then we run across this, and up here. Oh, okay, so if we run across these... Ah. Oh. Darn it. I fell down. I did not mean to do that. I believe that there is, yeah, there's a thing up there that you can get to potentially if you're a little bit less clumsy than I am. So I'll be trying that again if I can. If I have to reload my save game, I'll be a little annoyed, but I'm not sure how easily it is to backtrack to where it was. Let's see what I can do. Ow. Ow. These flamethrowing flicked are really annoying. A uh, shield regenerator, but I'm at more than one times shield, so that's not useful to me. To me, breathe! <sighs> breathe! Whoa. That is a room full of lava. I don't think I can grenade jump up there, but I'm pretty sure that that's where one of the secrets is. Let's try grenade jumping up there. Nope, can't get that high. Thankfully, there is a health recharge point right here. I may reload my save game and try to get up there at some point. I don't know if it's really worth the effort, 
because I believe that all that's up there is some ammo. I don't think there's a terminal or anything special up there, so I probably won't bother. Oh yes, of note, the uh, flame thing flicked up are immune to lava, so they will run around in the lava pits. Be careful about that. You can't just shoot them into the lava pits. Ow. Well, it looks like I get to try again on that little bit that I screwed up again anyway, because apparently I died. <laughs> uh, right then. Well, let's try this again, and hopefully with less failure this time. Let's see, it was over this way, up here, up here. There's a splicta down there, which I'm going to wake up so that it gets out of the way. Out of the way. Whoa. Ow. Ow. Quit it. Alright, so we run over here, and over here, and over to this thing. And then we can run... And I get caught on a freaking thing below me. Arg. Hazarg. Quote someone else much more famous than me. I really shouldn't do that, by the way. Uh, quoting other people who are more famous than me. It feels wrong. Inappropriate. Also, ow. <laughs> uh, getting stuck on these flying things, and I don't think I can get back in there, so... Apparently we're going to get one try at that every time I die. So we may or may not see me get to there, depending on how things go. I need something better than the assault rifle to fight this room. Because, jeez, that is a lot of flicta down there. I probably should just get out of this room and not bother fighting everything in it. But that's not like me. That's a boring answer. I prefer fun answers. I like fun things. Come on. Ah! Fun things like grenades! These are fun things, right? Well, they're fun things to use. They're not so fun things to have used on you. Ah! There we go. So I didn't screw it up this time. Yay! Reload. Have a grenade! Free grenade for the lava. Back up this way, there's another terminal here. Whoa! I don't think this is our end point. Let's see what this has to say. Oh, this is the same uh, message that we got last time we found one of Durandal's terminals, so... Whoa! Ah! There's an elevator over there. Which I do not particularly want to ride, thanks. I hear a robot tank ah thing. Kind of always full of flip though. Also not good. Thankfully I have weapons to clear that. Ah! Where did you come from? I was just in here! What the heck is going on? I'm so confused. I was just here! Oh, it must come out of this hallway, okay. And there's another terminal, I think. I think that's a different terminal, right? I'm not going crazy? Yeah, this looks like a different terminal. And this one has, like, thingies next to it, which I can't destroy, it looks like. Nope, not allowed to destroy them. Um, what do I have lots of ammo for? I still have lots of pistol ammo. So I guess I can pull out the pistols for a while again. Um, whoa! Even more flicked up. Like I said, pistols are not actually the worst weapon in the game. Well, actually, they probably are one of the worst weapons in the game, other than the fists. Fists are only good because you have unlimited ammo for fists. Well, in the sense that you can't run out of fist. Fist is actually remarkably useful for that reason. And pretty much no other reason. Because their damage is pretty poor. Whoa. Holy crud, that is a lot of robots. Uh, crud, I'm in a corner. This is not good. Really not good. Ah! I want my assault rifle. The assault rifle I find to actually be better than the, uh... Ow, ow. Than the plasma pistol against these particular sorts of robots, because I don't think the plasma... the fusion pistol actually does more damage to those. Holy crud, there's a save point here. I may regret saving at that point, but I can always go back to my earlier save and work my way back here if I find myself in a position where I'm just dying over and over. So, yeah. Here's hoping it doesn't come to that. Well, that's one flick to down. 
another 50 down. Should not be wasting ammo out of this yet. Aha! Double health recharge. Yay! Now I'm going to backtrack and hit that save point again. Sorry, folks. I don't really want to redo, like, three quarters of the level. Save point wasn't here, right? Maybe? Okay, where the heck was that save point? Oh, dear. No, it was definitely back this way. Yeah, and that's the... Okay, so I came in through here. It's over... No, it's not over there. It's... I came in through here. Uh, it's in this corner. Okay. <laughs> like, where did the save point go? I know there's one around here. Huh. Flicta on display. I guess these are stasis chambers or something. This is supposed to be their Hall of Antiquities, so presumably that's, like, exhibits on their past, uh... prior evolutionary steps or something. Oh! Suddenly robot. In my face. Not appreciated. Ah! Another robot. Curse those four, they're getting better at dropping robots on me. Not quite good enough to actually hit me directly, but still getting better at it. Um, nothing in here, maybe? Oh, it's just a connection back out this way. Okay. Um, oh, we haven't gone over this way yet. Oh yeah, that's where we came in. Okay. So, I guess this is the way we have not gone yet. Maybe? I don't know anymore. I'm just running in circles now. Okay, this is where we found the double health recharge, so... Visit the double health recharge area. Yep, that's where it is, in that corner. We already got double health from it. And there's another... Oh, pfft. There's a save point in this room. Oh, that's just disappointing. Oh, well. Let's go back this way. And run in circles some more. Find more Flicta. And fight more Flicta. Uh, any more terminals? Hello? Hello? Well, there's no dudes around. Wait, what? I picked up some power or some, some ammo of some variety, I guess. No idea what kind. Okay, um... I guess we keep going this way. We're just sort of following the tower's outer edge. Aha! We have actually found a terminal. Huzzah. Sft, translator active. I gra- I- bleh. Only I grasped the significance of the dise dissection of some of the captives. These creatures, repugnant as they are, are sentient, and yet their bodies are not bonded to any mechanisms. They can survive without their armor and their staves. Until now, sentience had always required cyber-organic symbiosis. All of our science has led us to this conclusion. We can even give our pets sentience with cyber-organic implants, yet these vile conquerors are sentient without any machinations. This leads to debate. Perhaps our own sentience is induced by the birthing operation, and that at some time we were no more sentient than afflicta. If such a fundamental assumption of our kind is wrong, then perhaps the myths were true, and we were actually servants of the Yarrow and Pythia. Perhaps they built us, or we were part of a larger group who came to La Owen. Alas, I fear that we will never know these things. So here we have a little bit of information about the backstory of the... Which is kind of what you would expect to find in a museum of antiquities. That they are cyber-organic, and that as part of the process of their birthing, they are bonded to a cybernetic uh, apparatus, which gives them sentience. And the implication is that without that cybernetic uh, implant, that they would in fact not be sentient, and more so than that, that they would probably be not alive. The uh, cybernetics that augment them are necessary to their life cycle at this point. And that they were probably engineered into this state by the Yara, who we remember we, were, we saw mentioned earlier on in the game. Last level, I believe. So we've got more terminals over here which I don't think I can actually interact with. Ah, oh, there's one. The beasts stop at attacking, running for their pods. We thought they meant to surrender, but then the bombardment anew. The burning air. We're evacuating the lowest levels of the citadel, but eventually it will reach us there too. I've received a lethal dose. I feel like the hfrrk tall after its mating his mating dance ends. Okay. No idea what that means. Presumably it's a reference to some kind of life form native to this planet. 
Report to leader, questionable surgical procedures. And if that wasn't enough, the vile bipeds removed his sensory organs in order to make room for this small oblong object that they installed in his face. They didn't even do it as a separate operation. I guess they figured since the object would displace them anyhow, why bother? The thing that confused me, though, was how they did it. It wasn't standard procedure, though, I can tell you that. Report to leader. Questionable surgical procedures. Only one surgical instrument was used during the procedure, the device that held the small oblong object. They tried to make an incision in which they placed the object with their knuckles several times before giving up and inserting the object anyway, and it was inserted at a rather high rate of speed, but I guess that was to ensure the total displacement of the sensory organs occurred. So, yeah, that appears to be an image of what is probably supposed to be a sft having something jammed into its face, but... What they are putting there, I don't know, and why, I'm not certain. And this terminal's not yet working, and here's one that looks like it's working. Uh, Older foretold of the closing of the Citadel windows, and we made his vision true. Then Older foretold of our victory, and we crushed the bipeds. Again, these beasts come here and fight against the ancient walls of the Citadel, against all the clans in unison. Our monolith will never fall. Never have so many of us been guided so quickly and resolutely. To breathe here is to understand unity. Leader told me that the elders began mending, melding days ago. We can all feel the effects of this. The angry air of Laowen has at last been cleansed. I miss the marshes of Manur and the seven of mine. I am sure they are gone into the fires. So, the, so that is presumably the record of a sft who had seven children, which had been killed by the four, and their home place, the Marshes of Manur. And it also tells us more of what we knew from before, that these sft appear to be some kind of hive mind or something similar that the elders were controlling. And the elders of each clan were merging together into a single mind to fight against the uh, four, basically joining the clans together in order to ensure that they could fight, beat the four. But it doesn't appear that they succeeded because they ended up as slaves of the four. But we know that they're slaves of the four because the four took advantage of their psychic link, most likely. That That is how the four enslaved them properly. Because you remember we killed the cybernetic who modified four who was controlling the sft in the first game, and that releases them from their control. So presumably they have other such beings in other places that are controlling that additional four, which is why the ones here are fighting us, even though the ones on Durandal's ship are our friends. So there's that. Freaking giant robot. No, not giant, but freaking robots from nowhere. This place is complexly built. Like, really, really complicated. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, well, there's this thing, which is not a door. It doesn't look like there's anything else up on this floor. I would have thought that there would be, but it doesn't look like there is. So, I think we backtrack and see if we can figure out where the uh, nearest Durandal terminal is. And maybe hit a save point on our way back. Because I think that this room was all we had to find, was those terminals that we just about finished reading. And this terminal, probably. Probably. I don't know for sure. Uh, let's see. The shortest route is probably back down this way. Yep, and there's Durandal Terminal. Uh, before we go, though, I want to see if I can remember where the save point and health recharge were upstairs. There's an area this level I haven't been in, which worries me. But I'm not sure how to get to it either. Hmm. Let me try something. Because there's an area down here. Nope, not that way. Through here and then off and around and... Oh, ah, no, I don't want to ride that. I want to go this way. There's an area on my map, which appears to be off in this direction, off that way. Hmm. That's odd. I'm not sure how to get there. That's very odd. Huh. OK. 
Okay, let me go and see if I can figure out where that times two health thing was and the save point and see if I can get those to get used to be able to leave this level at full health and uh, well there's a save point here so let's save here I'm going to go and read that terminal again and see whether or not it has changed to be the exit terminal now it is Battle Group 7 arrived sooner than I expected. The four fleet consists of seven corvettes similar to my own, four destroyers, a battleship, and an assault carrier. They are passing the orbits of the outer planets now, heading for La Owen. It appears that this fft retreated into the bunkers under the Citadel during the final four bombardment a thousand years ago. You are going to search these bunkers. Often during the last minutes of life, the truth is revealed. Perhaps before their annihilation, this fft realized something that would help us. Be warned that the approaching four fleet has already begun to reinforce the, their low Owen garrison by long-range teleport transport. That is presumably why there have been more things appearing. And we get a nice little neat uh, diagram of the four battle group seven coming to intersect La Owen. Okay, and we teleport out. So that was level 11, and we have reached level 12. As soon as it finishes loading, which it will do at some point. Loading, loading. It takes a lot longer to load the first level each time you load this up because it has to load all of the textures and everything for each level. So it takes a lot longer the first time around. Instead, it only, I think, loads the new textures and such like. So we have reached Bob's Big Date, level 12. Thank you for joining me. I will see you guys next time.